were foraging for tomatoes, right? Yeah. For our bagels. Yeah, we're going to add tomatoes. Yeah, it's a final touch. You got to add that. Final touch, got to yeah. add for tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's mix up our dough. So we have some water here, and this is kind of like lukewarm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just make sure it's not too scalding hot, but you don't want to be cold either because it's slow down fermentation. Great. Okay, and then we have our yeast, which okay. we're just going to. Okay, I'm just gonna mix that up, make sure it's all evenly distributed here. And then I like adding a little bit of brown sugar just for the flavor. Do you do that? Yeah, I like a little sweetness. I do just uh, barley malt, but brown sugar. Also I do works. both though. I have okay, so I have brown sugar here. I I have used white sugar when I thought that I was out of brown sugar and it worked. But no, but then I also have barley malt. Now tell me about this barley malt. So barley malt uh, is uh, kind of a secret ingredient for bagels, but um. It just gives it that nice, like, bagel-y flavor? Yeah, 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 I mean, you could call it a bagel-y flavor. It's also, it's malted, um, so it's got that kind of uh, distinct sweetness that uh, New York bagels always have. So mm. I think that's actually probably what a lot of people call New York City water flavor is actually the, uh, the barley malt. Here, do I add my salt now, too? Yeah, sure. I like a lot of salt. And that's good. And the salt actually slows down fermentation a little bit, so you're gonna be proofing it overnight. That's really necessary to add the salt. Even if you're a low salt person, you need to add it for the, the mixture. So it slows down the fermentation so that the flavors can develop. Yeah, and so, it does, so, so it doesn't uh, balloon out and just go crazy. It needs to kind of, that's just a natural process of the fermentation, it needs the salt. I love that, okay, amazing. Okay, now we'll add some flour here. All right, so we have high gluten flour, yes. which is necessary for bagels, right? It is, yes. Tell me why. So it's a little extra higher protein than normal flour, so it can um, take a little bit more kneading, and it can also make the bagels a little chewier. Can I use bread flour if I'm out of high gluten flour? Oh, certainly, you definitely can. And a way to deal with that, too, is if you do a little extra kneading, you can get your dough pretty strong and chewy, even if you don't have the high gluten flour. It's only, I think, um, two or three percent more protein, so it's not that big of a difference, but I know the real bagel shops swear by the high glue. Okay, so I typically need for like seven to 10 minutes until it's nice and smooth, but still a little bit sticky. I'm gonna throw it in the fridge and the dough's gonna gain some flavor through bulk fermentation. What do we do until then? Our dough has risen and we are now going to shape and boil and then bake our bagels. Okay, so this batch makes about 12 bagels. So we can just, I typically just eyeball it. Do you like to weigh it? I, I weigh it, but that's just uh, to be, to make absolutely sure they're gonna bake at the same time. But I think there's no reason why. Right, we could, there's a, my weigher. I, I, I trust, I trust your trust eyeballing. I don't okay. trust my own eyeballing. That's why I weigh it. Okay, why don't you take half and I'll okay. take half. You, you want to make sure that that seam is really, really well sealed. So that's why I'm kind of using like the edge of my hand. Bagels have to have holes in them. So how do you, how do you get them in there? Okay, so this is how I do it. I take my thumb and I just stick it down right in the center there and I wiggle it around a little bit until my thumb pokes through. And then I do one of these guys. Nice. Until the hole is like, I don't know, like an inch or two. Now that all of our bagels are shaped, we are going to boil them. I have a big pot of boiling water going here. Okay. Now we're gonna add a tablespoon of baking soda. Great. We're gonna add a little more of the barley malt too. And so add about a tablespoon or two, but you don't have to measure it out. Just pour it in there. See here, they, they, they drop to the bottom and <gasps> then they float. Oh good. We want them to float. Which means that they uh, have enough CO2 in them that it's gonna plump up very nicely uh, when they bake. All right. So these are ready to come out, and we're just gonna place them right on our towel right here so that they dry off. Yeah, you don't want them to be soggy when you're baking them. Great. And then we will transfer them to our pan that has been lined and greased, yeah. Oh, 
cook them and rotate them and bake them for about six or eight minutes more until they're golden brown. We have bagels, we have lox, we have cream cheese and all the fixins. Everything. Let's go out to the field. Thank you.